in early July, I was detecting near the button tree and found this relic. At the time, I couldn't positively ID what I had found, but I knew it had to be period. Recently, good friend and fellow relic hunter Larry Reynolds sent me this picture he found in a Civil War relic book. Nearly an exact match. I can now add this watch fob to my collection of artifacts from Sherman's March to the Sea. All right, good strong 1229 down here. Look at this, guys. Just how it looked when I popped the plug. Oh, that is a beauty. Look at the gold. Oh, that is awesome. Awesome. All right, stay tuned for more. From right under the button tree about four inches down a little piece of lead here pistol ball maybe looks pretty old there's a sprue can't tell how old that is but we'll take it I'm just working along under the the button tree here gang just digging every sing signal just moving real slow keeping the coil low and working real slow more to come and out of that hole, only about four inches down, was this little chunk here. I thought it might have been a carved bullet at first. It's real heavy. Got to be lead. But it's got some holes in the side. There's two here, two there. Not sure what that is. We'll clean that up and take a closer look. Well, a bit of a surface find here, just about an inch down in that hole. Pulled this out. A little religious pendant. Might, might be a pin, actually. There's something on the back here. Yeah, that's a pin. Some kind of symbol below it. Is that a Girl Scout symbol? I don't know. Celebrate Jesus, I believe it says. In the state of Georgia and some fireworks. So there you go. Got a deep 1229 signal right here. I just cut a plug. I'm going to pop it live. This thing is really deep if it's telling me the truth. It's uh, six or seven, maybe eight inches down. Yeah, nothing in the plug, that's a good sign. All right, got something right in the middle of the hole. Well, let's see what we got here. There it is, right there. Hmm. Pistol bullet. 44 probably. Maybe a Colt. Looks old. It's fired. I don't know if that's period or not. Looks like it might have one ring on it. Well, maybe you guys can help me out when we get it in the sun here. Looks like it's about 45 cal, 44. And it's definitely fired. Well, we'll clean it up and take a look. Pretty nice. I'll tell you what, I'm going at it with the Ultimate 13 inch coil today. And wanted to get just a little more depth and a little better, um, a little better coverage on, the, on this field here that I'm working. I uh, have a lot of confidence in this coil. I've used it quite a bit. So we'll keep plugging away here and see what we can do. Stay tuned. All right, deep 1234 in the E-Track. I cut a nice deep plug. Signal is still up here, but I think it's gonna be lead. I see a little piece of a bullet peeking out right here, gang. Let's uncover that together and see what we got. Looks like it's gonna be a cleaner. Williams cleaner. Beautiful bullet. Yep, dropped and in beautiful condition. So many of the bullets I've found out here have been pulled. 
this one definitely not got the disc on the back and everything nice Had a nice deep mid-tone this time it was a little bit broken there was some iron in the hole I think I've got the iron out I was stirring the sand up a little bit and I saw some white that might look like a bullet look at that look how white that is <laughs> three ringer gorgeous man another dropped Wow Beautiful bullet. We will take it. Okay, time for a quick paper towel wrap up here. Lots of interesting finds today. Um, I hit some other parts of that field away from the button tree and I keep running into some more modern things. I found five wheat pennies here. The oldest one is 1938, this old key. Uh, I found this uh, religious pin that you saw me dig, and then a few feet later, I found the button end for it, the snap, the little clasp. So I got that. Those, those ring up just like a nickel, by the way. I did find a couple of suspender buckles. This is the Shirley brand, or it says Shirley Make on there. These are pretty common for the early to mid-1900s. And then some of the older things. Now this this piece of lead, I'm curious to get your opinion. There are two holes, as you can see, that go all the way through on this little hunk of lead. Not sure what it was used for. I don't think it's any kind of a fishing weight or anything. But hard to tell if it's period or not. I think it might be a little more modern, but that's just my guess. Then on to the good stuff. I found this, uh, this little 44 caliber pistol bullet. I'm pretty sure it's a Colt 44 that is fired. You can see the rifling marks on it, but you can still make out the ring right there. And it is 44 cal. And I got this little pistol ball here. Looks like it was fired as well. I can see some grooves here from rifling by the looks of it. Ended up with a little rivet. Those are pretty common, a little brass rivet. Then a couple of really nice bullets here. This is the Williams Cleaner. This was dropped. Zinc base still intact. And a beautiful three ringer. The white patina on this was really brilliant. This thing's in really nice shape. Dropped. No markings in the base. Beautiful bullet. But the find of the day, once again, belongs to the button tree, guys. Take a look at how this thing cleaned up. Let me give you some close-ups. Look at all that gold gilt left on that button, guys. All I did is I gave it a little uh, dry brush in the field. And I put it away and brought it home. And I used my toothpick method for cleaning. No water whatsoever on this button. Little toothpick, cleaned it off real good, followed up with a little petroleum jelly on top, and it just pops. Love the looks of that button. Believe it or not, no maker's mark on the back. Shank is standing straight up, but no maker's mark. No back mark. Tell you what, I'll take it anyway. It's got to be one of the nicest condition buttons I've ever found. Leave it to the button tree. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for watching, gang. Take care, everyone.